This video is about cause and effect. Did you set an alarm last night to wake you up in the morning? What was the result when the alarm went off? Were you on time for school? Did you have enough time to get ready and eat breakfast? If you usually set an alarm, have you ever forgotten to set it and it didn't go off? How about that morning? Did you find yourself rushing out the door, not having eaten breakfast, and late to school? Both of those situations deal with something called cause and effect. Cause and effect is the relationship between one action or event and another action or event that causes why something happened. The effect is what happened. For example, when we flick a light switch, the lights turn off. When we flick the light switch again, the lights turn back on. Every day we make decisions that have different effects on our lives. For example, if you decide to study hard for a test, you will probably do pretty well on that test. The cause is deciding to study very hard. The effect is doing well on the test. Let's look at some other examples of cause and effect. It snowed all night. So school was canceled the next morning. A ball dropped on the ground. The ball bounced back up. You put on sunglasses. The sun's not in your eyes. Dropping a glass on the ground? The glass broke when it hit the ground hard. Sometimes there can be more than one effect from a cause. Think of the wind. The cause is, it's windy outside. But the effect can be more than one thing. In fact, it can be many things. Wind can cause you to be cold on a cool day. Or it can cool you down on a hot day. Because of wind, you could fly a kite. And a sailboat can move through the water. A pinwheel will spin when it's windy. And wind chimes will make music. Those are all effects of the wind. Now let's talk about how one of those effects can cause another. When the wind blows, it scatters seeds. The cause is the wind blowing, and the effect is the scattering of seeds. Well, what is the effect of seeds being scattered? Can you think of what happens? That's right! The seeds then grow. What about an effect from the seeds growing? Can you think of a few? We can eat what is grown. We can get shade from a tree, and beautiful flowers grow in a meadow. The cause of the wind has many wonderful effects, but wind can also cause some not so wonderful effects, like you getting cold, and sometimes it can have major effects and even cause damage, like a tornado or a hurricane. Sometimes an action or event can be both a cause and an effect. Listen to these two sentences. After it rained, the water on the ground evaporated, later causing it to rain. In the first sentence, the rain causes water on the ground which then evaporates. In the second sentence, the water on the ground evaporates and eventually causes rain. Cause and effect can appear anywhere in a sentence. When you are reading a story, it's important to find the cause and effect of the actions and events. When there is an effect, there will be a cause. Can you find the cause and effect in this story? The little boy played in the sun all day, and his face became as red as a tomato. What happens when you or someone you know is in the sun all day? Your face and arms may become red, and you get a sunburn. What causes this to happen? The sun. What is the effect? You turn red or get a sunburn, just like the little boy. Recognizing cause and effect is a skill that will help you with reading comprehension or understanding what you have just read. We can use it to make predictions about what will happen in a story and why. As we tell the following story, see if you can discover the cause and effect for some of the actions and events. A girl joins a softball team. She's up to bat. The ball is thrown. The girl swings her bat. She doesn't hit the ball. The girl strikes out. The girl decides to practice. The girl spends a lot of time at the park practicing hitting the ball. The girl gets better. At the next week's game, the girl gets up to bat. The ball is pitched to her. The girl swings the bat. The girl's bat hits the ball. The ball soars through the air. The girl runs around the bases. The girl is proud. Did you find the cause and effect of the actions and events in this story? Can you think of some? The girl swings the bat. 
She does not hit the ball. The girl decides to practice. The girl gets better. The ball is pitched to the girl. The girl swings the bat. The girl hits the ball. Remember when you're reading a sentence to recognize cause and effect. Ask these questions. What has happened and why did it happen? And now, because you watched this video, you know about cause and effect. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.